Welcome to the second pre-recorded lesson. This little fella is Angel. He is seven months old and appears in my indoor lessons or when I'm training. <laughs> Outside, outdoors in the backyard, the doggos. Inside the cat. So let's just warm up real quick. This morning I was feeling quite sore all around. I got fit into basketball games before lockdown on Thursday, Wednesday night. So I was happy to make that. Shout out to Money Men and, and Bray Dog for splashing two threes that night as well. So chop, chop, chop. This one is regular at a dojo I attend. Elsewhere, chopping up your along your arms and legs is a, I guess, Chinese traditional uh, um, well wellness exercise. Very good for your blood blood flow. My 90, uh, I guess, hundred year old uh, gran does that every day, <laughs> so it must be good. <laughs> Some knees, move your knees around. Make sure you're warm before you undertake any of these classes. Um, some classes will just go straight into it because I've already done stuff to warm myself up and I won't be doing a warm up set every each time. Moving into low block. Make sure you have the defensive hip working. So closed to open. For beginners, you can lift your knee up as well to make it easier. Also, thereby covering your, as a leg check, a leg guard. Make sure your shoulders contract and your hips at the same time. And then as you move forward, expand. If having hand techniques is too difficult to start with, just step forward as shown with your legs. So feet together, stepping forward and try, as you can see, closing and then opening your hips. This is known as the defensive hip movement. Very fundamental to almost all the techniques we do. So this lesson's fairly fairly simple compared to the ones to follow. Repetition is key. Make sure you practice and practice. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Let me know. Or send me a buzz. Um, subsequently, there's a lot of information online you can find as well. Next is Low Sudomaki, I believe, the name. I'm not very good with names, but Cat's Dance. There you go, so practice Cat's Dance for our beginners. You reach your front foot forward and then pull your hip back and snap. Snaps your hip. And then your front foot should be able to do a front kick 
thereby your back leg has the majority of the weight. Notice the the hip twist snap snaps back. And then kick. For those who practice any style of karate, you will do this movement during one of the first forms that you learn. It's okay if you struggle a bit with this one, it's quite, it's a, it's introduced quite early and it's quite hard to do for beginners. This is a low blocking cat stance. And then next is middle block. And outside middle block. So you can aim straight forward, you can aim across your center line, and then you can aim past your center line as well. Now some styles of karate don't reach all the way down for the contraction for our blocks, however we do so to emphasize the maximum hip movement. So it is, it can be a bit slower, however there's a slightly more contraction leading to more expansion, therefore generating more power. Give that a few goes. More, more lessons to come. Hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you in the next one.